Good morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog starting off with a actually a really lovely Tuesday morning. I got back from Copenhagen on Sunday so I kind of took yesterday off of vlogging but I had a really nice day of meetings and just catching up and cleaning the house. I'm actually off to off to meet my friend Purdy, who you've probably seen before, and um, we're gonna go for a little catch up coffee and also a little shoot. So I'm wearing an outfit that I picked out from and other stories because I just absolutely love it and it's such a gorgeous trench coat. So I would definitely leave it out down below because I feel like trench season is literally around the corner and it's just such a lovely outfit and it's just so neutral and I'm just obsessed with it. So I'm wearing the trench coat, so you can see the mess of the filming behind me. Trench coat in an extra small. Bring you down a little bit so you can see me a bit more. You can see everything else behind me. Um, yeah, so the trench coat is in an extra small and I've just well worn it with this really nice, lovely layer piece and other stories as well. I really like when you ruche up the, the trench coat sleeves. It just looks very cool. I've paired it with my Valentino bag that I'm lending at the moment with some sunnies from Sunday somewhere. And then I've just gone for a more of a cream look with the Palazzo trousers, Axel Arigato trainers, which you can't see, but I'll link down below. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day for a lovely little catch up and coffee with my friend Purdy. So I thought I'd take you along to start the vlog and it's a new coffee shop that we haven't been to. I've been to the chain, it's called Hagen, but there's a hidden one in Pimlico that I don't think anyone's been to yet. So yeah, very excited to give it a go, catch up and do a little shoot day. Okay, I am back from shooting Holly. We did a guest campaign for her, which was delightful and really happy with how it went um and i'm gonna quickly cook a dinner like super quick and i'm inspired by there's this girl called m nutrition let me her up so her name is m the nutritionist killing it and she made this curry this pad thai and it looks super easy so this this is what i'm going to make super quick bake it all in one go and yeah how easy is that so i'm gonna do that whilst um we're gonna start planning uh barley and dubai and yeah get going which is really exciting so i'm gonna put quickly back this in i also just got instant rice but i just thought that was easier to do so i'm gonna get this going and then show you how it looks This day has gone past so quickly, but I feel like when it was like half 11, I literally just felt like I had done so much. Sorry, you can hear the airplanes, I've got the window open. But basically, I just wanted to kind of have a check-in before I do an unboxing. Thank you very much for all the kind messages on my previous video when I had a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart in the um, Paris vlog. But I've just been going through all the messages as I've literally just posted it this week. And by the time you're watching it, it might be 
two videos old, two or three videos old. I just wanted to say thank you for being so kind and very loving. Um, I wasn't too sure if I was gonna post it or not just because I don't know I, it was hard to watch me cry and like my friends have even said like and my parents were like that was really hard watching you cry and I was like I think I wanted to keep it in because I'm very good at not being vulnerable i'm very good at numbing situations like my emotions towards situations and literally looking like i am okay for example i've over the last six months it's been six months since laurie and i broke up everyone on social media like instagram are like is like you're having the best time you look like you're having the time of your life like you're partying you're doing this you're doing that and it's because i'm creating this veil of how I'm actually feeling and how I'm coping with things and I've done it not only for you guys to see but for me to see and I think people deal with this situation so differently to others I'm really struggling to deal with it and my friend literally just said it right here and there my friend who I just text was texting um literally said it so rightly rightly so right being like has it all just sunk in and I said yes and she actually was the first person I'm like, um, when people ask me if I'm okay, I say, yeah, yeah, fine, all good, la 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 la. Like, especially when it's texting someone. And that was the first time ever I replied instantly and went, no, I'm not okay. And it has, it's really sunk in recently. And I think it's just taken over a lot of my, I mean, I was with the guy for 11 years. But I wanted to keep this in because I think this is, I wanted to be honest and i know it was very raw i mean it was edited a lot like i cut out most of it probably will cut out a lot of this here but i think it's relatable and i think i wanted to share this because i hope this helps a lot of people because it does come with waves and i know i'm gonna be okay because i have the most amazing support group and the loves of my life my friends and family like they have held me up and i think because I'm ready to kind of talk about it as well. At the beginning, it was too raw for me to properly talk about. Um, but yeah, it just, I felt like it was right for me to bring it into the vlog because I think over the next few vlogs, I'm gonna be dealing with it. I, I feel like it has really sunk in recently and um, I felt like I, it had to be raw with you guys. Like this is what vlogging is. This is what I'm going through and I not wanna bring you along to the journey, that sounds weird, but like just to keep give you an update with, breakups aren't easy. It's like, had someone who was like your everything. I mean, I, I was with the guy for 11 years, so he was my best friend, he was like, I thought my soul partner, the love of my life, like we were gonna be together forever. And yeah, it just, it's mad that I haven't even spoken to him in six months either. So to have that person who was, I lived and breathed and thought about 24 seven, spoke to 24 seven, we moved in with each other. All I did was think about my ex and now I don't, it's just, I think that's hit home as well. It's just very weird. But yeah, it's coming waves. Over Christmas, I was pretty good. I was on a massive high because I think I had my birthday, Christmas, New Year's. It was really fun, even though it was our anniversary, New Year's. Um, yeah, it just, I think it's just really hit home recently. And I just wanted to say, I wasn't planning on crying right now, um, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the kind kind messages i've received over on here and instagram it's really really lovely and and as well like when i've spoken to you guys more so actually over on instagram people have kind of noticed what's happened and a lot of you did kind of gather that was the situation that we did break up and you've related to me with saying about your situations and what's happened to you and you going for a breakup and what's helped you and so yeah, so I wanted to be raw for you because I must look like I'm the strongest person on earth to have dealt with a breakup of 11 years and act like I've got my crap together because I have not got my crap together. But I'm gonna be okay and it's just life. It's just what a breakup does to you. Like you lose a sense of control and you feel lost. I feel like I've lost an arm. That's like what my ex, like I feel like I've lost, I'm, I feel like he's died. Like it's that pain. So yeah, so recently it has really hit hard, but I will be okay because I am a strong girl. I know what I deserve. Karma has my back and someone out there has been looking after me because 
I got this apartment straight away, which was just incredible. My neighbors like become my best friend and we are traveling to Bali, Dubai. My girls around me, literally I thrive when I'm with my girls. Like I absolutely thrive. I've met so many people on this journey. I've gone to Copenhagen, I've been to Paris twice. Like that is like, someone is watching over me and I am loving life. I just, yeah. I know things happen for a reason, but still kind of waiting to see what that reason is because my heart is still very hurt. Oh, I can't believe this has gone into like a deep conversation. I think I needed this conversation with myself, but the long story short, I'm rambling again. I wanted to say thank you for the kind messages of what I've just been through and your support. Thank you so much. Like, it means the world. This was supposed to be a sit down to show you what I got from the event. <laughs> But here we are. This cup of tea is gonna turn into a glass of wine because one of my best soul sister friends, my husband, Helena, is coming for a sleepover, which I'm so excited for. So anyway, thank you so much. I feel like sometimes you know when you have to speak and cry and just get it all off and then you feel a bit more refreshed. I feel like crying does help. But anyway, I'm not here to cry anymore. I'm here to bring the energy and positivity back. So I kindly was invited to go to an event with Bumble and Bumble, celebrate the launch of a new bond building product. Bumble and Bumble are a really lovely hair brand. I really enjoy their products. Ooh, some honey. Honey in there. And they've just launched a new product of their bond building collection. So first of all, they've kindly given me the bond building repair shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if I've spoken about this. If I did, it would have been last year. But the collection is builds new bonds to strengthen hair and helps repair damage. Really, really incredible range. If you have your hair colored quite a lot, style your hair quite a lot, it's a really, really good range. Yeah, I was kindly invited along to get my hair styled with using this and I really enjoy in it. I mean, I absolutely love getting my hair done by hairdressers anyway. I feel like they just do your hair so much better. Then there was kind of like a, a photo shoot going on, which I wasn't uh, prepared for, especially after a gym class. But we were really kindly sorted out by Mac with like touch-ups, things like that. So I've probably ruined it with crying. But they kindly sent me some products to go home with, which was really lovely. And as well, um, I've actually got an event with them next week, which is really exciting. So I kind of got to briefly meet the PR girl, but I'm excited to meet her next week properly. So some new products they told me about, which I've got on my lips now, is the Locked Kiss Ink. And I've been sent away with two quite dark browny colours, which I'm very intrigued with. So we have meticulous which is like a really nice i know it's spring but i'm really into browns at the moment i think they're just really lovely so it's a really nice like creamy matte consistency i really like that color also as well blushing these are locked kiss inks so they last on your lip for a long time apparently and it's supposed to be amazing I'm actually talking to the girls about how mac for me and probably for a lot of people i'm sitting on my knees it really has was kind of like the og brand when i was like 15 16 to have a matte product was like so desirable and it didn't matter i remember i told the girls i was like we were talking about what was your first product and i was literally just like i think it was just like a really random purple lipstick but because it was mac and it was the cheapest thing i could afford i just wanted it because it was mac and we all agreed because it was mac it was like it didn't matter what product it was of the products that i really like were my hero hero products from mac is spice lip liner which still is my absolute favorite and before my lip blush that was the color that i wore all the time um, i think it's called sunny flash the bronzer also the highlighter i can't remember what it is but i'll leave it down below i feel like you have to go back to the og products sometimes because they are just the best and mac's been around forever and there's a reason why so yeah so it was really nice to be reintroduced to mac and get to trial out the new Bumble and Bumble bond building serum and get my hair done and just have a really nice day. I think I needed it. Just started raining outside. It's been so sunny all day and now it's raining. It's just horrendous. But what I'm gonna do is I've got a few hours before my darling husband, Helena, comes over. She's not my husband, but we used to, if you've been a, a follower of my YouTube channel for a while, you would know Helena through that I lived with her. So yeah, she's coming over for a sleepover and we're having Jackie P night. We're bringing the first day OG Jackie P night and it's just such a casual Jackie Potato 
tuna salad and a bottle of red and i cannot wait i think i need it i think we all know i can i need it <laughs> um so i'm really excited for that and just have a really cozy one and just, just us two just oh i can't wait so anyway i'm gonna sort the house out do a few more hours of work even though i've been up since 5 30 doing work and yeah get excited for an evening with my bestie sorry about that cry but I, I felt like i needed to firstly say thank you for being the loveliest and also as well just give you an update of like a bit more of a a bit of a, a sit down and kind of talk through what kind of happened then but anyway I'm gonna crack on and i think i'll probably see you at dinner with a glass of wine with the biggest smile on my face because i'll be with my girl and there'll be red wine <laughs> It is five to seven. I wait until seven o'clock, and that is when Holly and I are meeting outside our doors, and we are heading to a rebel class, and we're doing a reshape class, which I just is my favourite, which is also on, which is also on class pass, which for me is like heaven, because I've been really enjoying it. This is not sponsored. I just. I'm really enjoying glass bars because I love, I absolutely love my Rebel classes. They're just my favourite thing. I just love the setup of the workout. But I also really enjoy this like opportunity to try out new places. So I really like Ride Republic because they do um, this like bar class, which I really enjoy as well. There's a hot yoga studio near me. So yeah, so I'm really enjoying it. And it's a little bit more affordable. And then you can just add more money when you want. So if you miss a class or don't have time to do classes at one point, then you have more time to do others. So yes, yeah, so I really enjoy them. And like I said, One Ripple is on there. So I'm going to leave a link down below. It's like you can share this link with friends and family. Um, it's not something for being a content creator. Basically, you refer a friend. You, If you've never tried it before, you get a free month for free. And you get to trial out different studios. You can't in that month try out the same studio. You have to choose only one. But it makes you try it out and i think it's really fun but yeah so i got that i'm then actually meeting up with it's really sweet actually i met her at a i met her at a um wine tasting event tara and i went to and she lives in the area i've just moved to so we're just gonna be up for a coffee which will be really sweet and then i've got some work to do and then mom mom and dad are coming over which would be really lovely um i actually think i'm losing my voice my voice i think i'm just very run down oh good coffee ready to head out of the door for a long walk base water it's an hour and a half <laughs> It is a glorious end to the day. The weather is stunning. I've just cleaned the flat. I actually don't know where the time has gone, but it is Saturday. I've been to a rebel class with Holly. I've had a catch up with a friend I met at a wine tasting class, of course. I've done some filming and I've cleaned the house and <laughs> it's only, it's only half four. Um, so I feel productive. There was a lot more that I wanted to do, but it is a Saturday, so I'm gonna let myself off. My parents are coming over today, which would be really lovely. I've got the ragu ready to just be turned on. It's actually quite nice they're here at half four, so I'm hoping that there'll, there'll be some shops open that I could take them to, as my dad actually hasn't been here properly. Well, actually, neither of them have slept over or stayed over here since moving me in, which was a few months ago now. So really exciting to just have them here, chill. We're gonna go to some pubs and have some red wine. I'm just hydrating on water because I know it might be a little bit of a heavy night. I just keep making sure that the house looks nice because mum and dad are arriving at the house any minute now. So I'm just in a really comfy, casual outfit because we're just chilling at the house today and just going to a pub. So but yeah, a really nice weekend. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but I'll definitely film Monday because mum and I have a very, very lovely day in itself. So I might have that as just like one vlog, which would be really cute. Um, but yeah, just waiting for the arrival of the parents. And then I'm sure they'll go, should we go to the pub? So, yeah, I'm just preparing myself to be ready to head straight out for some bubbles. What did I say? Hello! Hello. 